I, I doubt it will. I doubt it will. I doubt it will. I doubt you will. I really wish I wasn't so odd. What's up guys and welcome back to another video and welcome back to my channel. So today we are back with another haul. Hauls are like one of my favourite things to do because I literally love shopping and creating a video means that there's a reason for me to shop. Let's hope James doesn't watch this because he doesn't like how much I shop but I like to do it. So today we are doing a TK Maxx haul. The box is humongous. I cannot explain to you how big it is. Um, if you guys enjoy hauls, then please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below on where your favorite homeware stores are and your favorite clothes stores are because I literally am obsessed with shopping. So I like to find new places to shop all the time. So I'm not gonna ramble on. I'm not gonna make this intro a million years long because no one likes that. Um, so yeah, let's just hop on into it. First of all, before we even get into it, we are just gonna address the fact that I'm always in this top, okay? I I just don't own any clothes. Um, that's a lie, I do own loads of clothes, but none that I particularly like. Um, second, we are in a different setting. This box next to me is so big, I didn't even wanna take it upstairs into my filming room. So we are filming down in the lounge, it's a little messy. We're gonna ignore that. And then also thirdly, the makeup situation. We are having a bad makeup day, so no one come for me because I'm already sad that I'm having a bad makeup day, but we can't stop it, let it stop us from filming, so you're all just gonna pretend that I look amazing. Okay, cool. So, I wish you guys could see how freaking big ugh, this box is. Mm hmm it's freaking huge okay so I have moved location ever so slightly because I just needed more room to be able to get into the goddamn box so I haven't stuck with one theme it was kind of just shopping for things that I genuinely kind of needed. So, go away, you're so annoying. I'm getting annoyed at my sofa. Also, how beautiful are my new earrings? Love them. Not from TK Maxx, not part of this haul. Shut up and get on with it. I'm gonna start off with the one kind of homeware haulie piece that I got. So, here's what it looks like sideways. So, basically it is, um, like a little bathroom caddy container. So these aren't particularly special, you can buy them from anywhere. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I get way too excited over homeware hauls um, and like just homeware pieces in general. I think I might be like a 35 year old stuck in a 22 year old's body because like, the excitement I feel over new cleaning products and vacuum cleaners is honestly ridiculous but i'm hoping i've got some like 35 year olds watching me so that they can make me feel better um so we've needed more storage in our main bathroom for the longest time can i tell you literally we have so much stuff and not enough places to put it but i basically want to change our bathroom in the not so distant future it all depends upon what cash flow we have um, because we're currently paying to get our garden done. So I want to change our bathroom. So with that, I don't really want to be buying nice big staple pieces. Hello, sir. I never film downstairs because people can see in our um, lounge and it, it really throws me off. <laughs> so I didn't want to buy like real big staple pieces to go in our bathroom if I'm gonna change it and then it just doesn't fit with the vibe of the bathroom. So I felt like you can't really go wrong with a stainless steel caddy that you can just pop on the floor and it, it will just move around. And it will basically go with any type of bathroom you have, whether it's modern or like more vintage and antique looking, it will literally, it will go because it's just stainless steel. So you have three sections and I'm sure I will fill it up in absolutely no time at all. So you can pick these up from basically anywhere, like Dunelm, Wilco, 
um, the range, B&M, like everywhere has them. And I just, like I said to you a second ago, I was putting off um, buying it for so long because I just thought maybe I can wait until the bathroom's done, but I just, I can't, it's ridiculous. So I'm not being rude, I'm just gonna find how much it costed. This guy right here was 10 pounds. I think that's a pretty standard price. Um, the make of it from TK Maxx was tired storage stand. Wow, it doesn't say tired, it says tiered. And that's what the product is. Ooh, it looks like it's from Ari Robley, maybe. I'm not sure what the brand is, but it's from TK Maxx. And if they still have it in stock, I will link it down below. So yeah, it's a pretty standard price. Um, you can pretty much buy those for that price just about anywhere. So yeah, it's pretty much 10 pounds wherever you go whether it's a fancy brand, I don't know. But I have just noticed by putting it down on the ground that it's got dent in. So TK Maxx, not loving that. It's actually bent on one of these pieces here. I'm really not having a lot of luck with the things that I buy lately and I'm gonna apologize now if Milo just barks throughout this entire thing because Basically, it's still freaking windy outside and he hates the wind for some reason. Like, he loves standing in it, but he loves to tell it off too. So, he's probably going to be barking the whole time. So, I'm really sorry now you know what it's like to live in my house and have to suffer like me. So, yeah, not loving the fact that that's dented and I seem to be having a lot of issues with things arriving damaged lately. Um... If it's the delivery drivers, please could you maybe just take a little bit more care because I've seen how some of you throw the parcels around. And if it's not them, then TK Maxx, I'm mad at you. Anyway, moving on to the next thing. This is all gonna start making sense at some point, okay? So, if any of you follow my vlogs, you will see that Milo's kind of got a little food station and it literally is almost identical to this. So basically, it's this beautiful stainless steel bottom with a wooden top and it just comes with two bowls. Fabulous, one for the food, one for the drink. Um, I literally love it. Milo's is a black and, yeah, it's just black and um, wooden, but it has like lines down here as well. Um, he's keeping that one. Um, there may be another family member arriving at some point in the near or not so near future waiting to hear. Yes, you will find out in a vlog, no doubt. Um, so I wanted to get another one. I couldn't get the exact same one, but I like this and I, I feel like it's good to have different because I can then tell whose is whose. Um, literally love this. I think when we bought Milo's, we actually bought Milo's one from HomeSense, which obviously is a partner of TK Maxx. And I think we paid around about 12 pounds for it. Um, this beautiful stainless steel one is 16 pounds. Um, I think the make is Barclay and Evans. So, I'm gonna go online actually, and I'm gonna see what Barclay and Evans sell it for so that I can see what discount I got. If I didn't get any, then I'm gonna be sad. Interesting. Very, very interesting. So, this here, and I would never have found out, good luck. Sorry, a learner just drove past my house and I like to wish him good luck because people are mean to learners. I'm all about driving, by the way, in case I didn't say that. I'm so random, I'm so sorry. Um, the manufacturer of this also manufactured this. What are the chances? Because they are like completely different things. One's a bathroom caddy and one's a dog bowl. 
Um, but yeah, they're from the same manufacturer. This is £16, so I would say that's pretty good. It's pretty well made and it's going to last some ages and it's the perfect height for a little doggy. So as I said a minute ago, if they still have all of these in stock, then I will be linking them down below. I'm going to carry on with the dog theme. So now we have a little dog bed. Now I bought two of these because if anybody knows Milo, Milo really likes to, after he's made friends with his bed and he's been friends with his bed for, oh my God, months now, and he sleeps in it every night and he loves it. All of a sudden he just decides that he's angry at it and he likes to attack it and rip it to shreds. And as much as we try to stop him, sometimes he does it when we're not there. Um, so it's kind of inevit in inevitable that he will at some point destroy his bed. Um, and he does have a, a plastic bed with like a, a fluffier cushiony bed inside of it because I want him to be comfortable. And yes, he destroys the bed, but Milo's like my child and where parents buy their kids toys, even though the kids break the toys, they buy them more toys. Stop going on. I don't have to justify it. He's my dog. I love him. If he wants a comfy bed, he can have a comfy bed. Um, but he likes to destroy them after a little while. So he needed a new bed because he's just started pulling the fluff out of his current one. So I thought I'd just get him this little bed here. Um, it's kind of like the perfect size to fit inside his plastic bed. And what I didn't realise until it's arrived now is it's actually an orthopaedic pet bed. So we're going to have to wait and see how Milo feels about that. Um, but it's pretty cool, actually. I quite like it. Um, so Milo's a little prince, so he needed an orthopedic bed, quite clearly. So I don't think this was particularly expensive. I don't buy Milo expensive beds anymore. Um, we actually did that once. Let me tell you the price of it, and then we'll talk about the story. So this bed is $14.99. So I would say that that's not bad, considering it's an orthopedic bed and it's of a fair size um perfect for a dachshund and like any other dog similar to that size if you have a um cocker spaniel you're obviously going to need to size up but yeah it's just this nice kind of like fabric gray on the outside and then like fluff um cream on the inside so literally love that and then obviously i bought a second one for the um possibly new family member that will be arriving so i got two of those both 14.99 so as i said a second ago um we don't buy milo expensive beds anymore because like i said earlier he just likes to destroy them for absolutely no reason at all he's just a little bit of a bugger um so we once thought we'll pay 30 pounds for a dog bed um it was well structured we really liked the look of it and we were certain that milo wouldn't be able to destroy it one week later and 30 pounds down and no bed milo had destroyed this 30 pound bed from pets at home and from that point onwards i just said to myself absolutely no chance am i ever spending money like that on him again because he just takes it for granted um so from that point forward we actually gave him a plastic bed with blankets in and he was fine in it he was happy in it but i just felt a little bit bad that he didn't have cushions so um i buy him like a cheap um fluffy cushiony bed to go inside the plastic bed which is obviously why i've gone for the 14.99 and that's exactly what we're going to do for um our new family member so i'm really excited for you guys to hear about the new family member um just as excited as i am to go and collect the new family member so i'm hoping it's not going to be too long i on honestly cannot contain my excitement and um i can't wait for milo to find out as well because he obviously has no idea anyway moving on um now on to some non dog bits these are actually some clothing bits and we have a secret surprise in here for james so i'm going to do mine first so as i said earlier i've never ever bought 
clothing from TK Maxx before. Um, I just feel so incredibly overwhelmed when I walk into TK Maxx because there's just so much stuff in there and I just don't know where to begin. And then I feel like everything I look at is so goddamn ugly. And I'm like, why am I even bothering? Why am I trying in here? But actually looking online, it allowed me to find like the hidden gems in there. So maybe I just got sucked into it, but I felt like they were cheap before they are. So let's see. And I can't really comment on that until I feel the material. So, oh, I like when they do that. I like when it comes with a little bit of tissue paper in it to stop it from creasing. So this is the first thing that I bought. So it's just kind of this um, navy coloured, like knitted, not knitted, but like ribbed top. Um, and it comes with three little buttons down the sleeve, which I literally love because it just sort of adds something to what would be a very basic and plain top. So I literally love that and I feel like it's perfect for um, both work and everyday life. So if you want to wear it out for a meal, you can wear it out for a meal. If you want to go to the shops in it, you can go to the shops in it. I just feel like it's a versatile top because it's plain but then has the nice little added detail of the... Um, buttons so literally love that and it feels like good material as well so the um make of it is called in vogue can't say i've ever heard of them before but yeah let me have a look at how much it was i want to say it was like really cheap it was like 10 pounds it was 9 99 so that is an absolute bargain. Um, I'd buy that again. They have it in other colours as well, so I might go back and buy some more. But I, if they fit, I'm not going to put them on and show you guys if they look ghastly on me. But um, I might chuck in a try-on clip for you guys into this video as well, just so that you can see what they look like. Oh my god! So this is the blue one with the little... It's cute, I like it. I like it. I like it, it's nice. It's very you. Very me. Yeah, it feels nice. The yarns are ever so slightly too long, but for what I think was like nine ninety nine. Not shabby. Yeah, and it's not too see through either. I don't think it's see through. Yeah, I like it. I will be the judge of that. <laughs> Bye. Okay, on to the next one, a khaki colour. Oh, okay. Right. Hmm. Hmm. I'm surprised at the texture of this. So this is supposed to be like a, it will look like a cardigan, but it's not a cardigan. Like it's all done up. It's got the buttons in the front. Um, yeah, I won't lie. I thought it was going to be a completely different texture to this, like a different material. Right. So this is khaki green and it's quite short actually it's fat and short Weird. um yeah so this is all fake um this is like a it's supposed to look like a done up cardigan and i guess it does but i wasn't expecting it to be this material i don't know if you guys can kind of see what material it is but yeah i don't know um i got it in a medium but it's looking really wide um, but really short at the same time. So I'm not sure how that's gonna sit on my body type, but I guess it's cute. It it would be perfect for like casual day wear, like with a pair of blue jeans, if you're just going to do the shopping. Um, I don't know what the brand supposedly is meant to be. These buttons down the front, the buttons are real, but this bit's fake. So you can't even undo it, which, I thought you might be able to. I thought it was gonna be like a cardigan, but done up. So I'm not sure how I feel about that. Let me see how much it was. It was eight pounds, so can I complain? Probably not, because it's eight pounds. So it's probably about right material-wise for the price. Um, I don't know if I love it. I think it's gonna be one of those ones where when I try it on, I'm gonna be able to decide whether I love it or hate it, but yeah i don't know what the brand is for that um oh wow that is okay that's the brand wow okay um the brand's called caution to the wind 
never heard of them. Um, okay. Yeah. I'll link it down below, I guess. That's also cute. It's okay. I a little bit see-through, though. Is it? Yeah. I don't, Might be the lighting. I don't love it. I feel like with a pair of black jeans, it would be okay for, like, everyday wear, just, like, nipping to the shops and stuff. But I feel like they've cut it funny. Yeah, it looks a bit like it's fine there on the sides and then, like, kind of, yeah, like... it's just... Yeah, I don't know. I prefer the, the other one. Though. Only. That's eight pounds that could have gone towards our garden. Bye. Um, and then the last thing that I bought for myself, because we have one more item after this and it's for James, I'm gonna try and get his reaction on camera, is this right here. So I think I'm probably gonna have regretted buying this. Um, I don't have any hoodies. Not in this house anyway. I don't have any hoodies. Um, and I always still James it, so I thought I just want a snuggly, jumpery thing that I can wear when it's a little bit cold and I just want to be able to snuggle down. So, I got this here. This is going to be so hard to show you like this. <laughs> this looks so ugly. Um, it's basically like a really thin, but like soft, snuggly feeling hoodie. So here's the hood. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it looks freaking ugly. It does look ugly. Um, I'm gonna post a photo of what it looked like on the website because it, it looked slightly nicer on the website. It feels soft, but it feels quite cheap, actually. Um, it probably was cheap, that's probably why I bought it. Um, it kind of feels like that soft material that if you've got dry hands, it's gonna catch on your hands if that makes any sense um so yeah let me see if i can find the brand gyft is the brand and you have to hand wash this with cold water brilliant um love that i'm gonna just chuck it in on delicates like i do all the things that are like hand wash and stuff and hope for the best um it is 10 pounds which is probably again why it feels so cheap um I will try it on and show you it in a try on clip. If I'm being totally honest, if you wanna pay like 10 pounds for something, I myself would probably recommend just going to Primark because I feel like it's better quality. Um, I've bought like a few cardigans from Primark and they're literally amazing quality and I really like them. Um, and they feel a lot nicer than that jumper and the second top that I pulled out. The first top, I love the look of. I haven't tried it on yet, so I can't comment. I could be putting a try on clip in in a second and I literally hate the thing, but it feels really good. So in the Vogue or in Vogue, whatever the brand was, love you you're great i'd buy you again i think but as for that last one it does genuinely feel really cheap it might feel nice when i've got it on but we'll have to wait and see oh i like that so, I, I rate that it's nice it's all right when it's tucked in but when you untuck it it just looks a little bit naff yeah it definitely looks better tucked in yeah Actually, um, actually, it looks okay. It's not too bad, it, but I'd tuck I mean, it in. it's supposed to be a snuggly thing anyway, so like you chuck on a pair of leggings and you'd stay in the house all day. Yeah. But it's not bad. The hood is freaking humongous. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Lord Vader over here. So. Or little nanny munchkins. I mean, maybe if we were to. <laughs> nanny munchkins. Oh my god. <laughs> But yeah, it's all right for just tucking in and going out and chilling, chilling doing, out. doing your average Tesco shop. Yeah, I'd probably just wear this like, yeah, if I'm desperate for a chocolate bar. Yeah. <sighs> Bye. So the last thing is for James and I'm looking at this and I'm thinking to myself, he's probably gonna hate it. So James is very particular with what he chooses to wear. Um, it's basically All Saints Ralph Lauren, or that's about it. 
it has to have a label on it. He doesn't buy FNF from Tesco's or George or Boohoo or anything like that. He won't even do Top Shop. Like he won't even do Top Man. That's how ridiculous he is. He literally likes All Saints and that's about it. Um, so he mentioned to me the other day that he feels like he could do with maybe updating his wardrobe a little bit. Um, and I obviously didn't want to go ham and buy him loads of stuff because like I just said, he's very particular. Um, so I bought him one top. Um, thank you Rebel for telling me that you are recycled. Um, so I obviously didn't buy him an expensive one because I thought I'm not gonna about I'm not gonna waste all my money on him because he'll turn around and say that he hates it. And I already know that he's gonna hate it. I'm looking at it now and I know he's gonna come downstairs and be like, I'm not wearing that, that is ugly. Um, so <laughs> this is the top that I got him. It actually doesn't look that big. So I'm hoping it's gonna fit him. I got him a medium. I'm looking at it on camera and it looks disgusting, but I can imagine it on someone and it would look really nice. But it's just like a knitted sort of top. It's from the brand Rebel, if you guys know who that is. Um, yeah, it's like a blue and white color. I don't know what else really to say about it. It was $12.99. Oh my wow. Oh my wow. Seriously, that was a shock. I didn't notice that before. So I bought it for $12.99 at TK Maxx. Um, it actually retails for £35. So let's hope he likes it. I'm going to call him and ask him to come down. Ooh. Right. Finally managed to get James away from his game of FIFA, which he's been raging at. Yes. FIFA brings out the worst in right. me. Right. Close your eyes. Oh, it's just mine? Yes. Is that big? No. Oh. Close your eyes. They're not shut properly. I can still see your eyeballs. Bullshit. Okay, so keep them shut up. You're not going to like it. I'm almost done. Hold on. Okay. That's actually right, you know? I said I felt like it might be a bit too tight. No, I, 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 from the material, I felt like it might be a bit tight on. Do you? No. You like it? Yeah. Yeah, because all right. I just We're going to do try on clips. Right now? No, we'll do it when we come back from Tesco. You can do yours and I'll do mine. And well, what have you bought? It. I bought myself three tops. You'll see them in the video when you watch okay. later. Yeah? TK Maxx. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, love. You're welcome, Milo. Do you like it? <laughs> so, uh, uh, I know, I didn't uh, say yes, wasn't it? Because look, here's your orthopedic bed in here. It's a hundred bed. Look at how happy he is. I know, he already tried to climb in it a minute ago. Yeah, feel it. It's orthopedic. What's that mean? Ah, oh, like it keeps them happy. Keeps them happy. <laughs> Basically. Yeah, you Ooh, like it. He wants it. He's like, give me something. No, he's watching out the window because he wants to keep guard. He is a territorial little guy. Can you imagine? <laughs> so while you think it's okay, I guarantee you're not going to like it once you put it on. I think it'd be alright when I put it on. It's just, uh, I think it might be a bit too tight for me. We'll see in the trial. We'll see how it goes. Tight is a bit tight. It's not that bad actually. Come on. James, what do you, when he stands normally? What do I think? What does everybody think? Go on, give us a twirl. James, why are you twirling like that? I think if you've not eaten a full English, oh, you'll be Oh yeah, I'm, I am bloated out today. Yeah. I've had a full English breakfast, what else have I had? I had some chicken dippers, I've had a, I used to do strawberry milk. I think once, You've shed a few pounds. This, You'll be this all right. is exactly like my Ralph Lauren one. After I got ready to go on holiday, it was fine. Exactly. At this present time, I need to cut, uh, I'd probably say six pounds and it'd fit perfectly. Do you not agree? I don't know if you need six pounds, but we'll see. Yeah, get on for what am I, 13 stone at the moment? I don't know. I probably need to get down to 12 times six again. Okay. That'd be a good weight for me. Okay. Um, that is 
everything that I bought from TK Maxx. I'm happy with the dog beds. I'm happy with the, I'm happy with all the dog bits. Um, fairly happy with the little bathroom caddy, apart from the fact that obviously it's got a dent in it. Um, but other than that, I'm very happy with it. And I'm happy with one and a half out of the three tops. I'm really sorry who just heard James drop a very rude word. He's swearing at his Xbox. He, he's playing FIFA. He shouldn't play FIFA. He's bad at playing FIFA. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will make sure to link all of these things down below. And yeah, make sure that you hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell so that you get notified every time that I post a new video. I post two times a week now, once on a Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. UK time. Um, that tends to be a weekly vlog. And then obviously Saturdays at 10.30 a.m. UK time. And that's, it ranges that video. Whoever knows what it will be. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video and that you have a lovely weekend and I will see you next time. Bye.